Good morning. The title of my book this morning is One Joyful Scoop at a Time, written by Maria Cecilia Borja Van Zitter and illustrated by Sarah Nieto. Every Saturday, Bo went to swimming lessons. And every Saturday, Bo's teacher got very upset. Wee! Bo screamed as he slid across the pool deck. Woohoo! Bo shouted as he jumped into the pool. Bo splashed to the surface and yelled, Look what I found! He held up a swimming toy. Bo, I want you to have fun, his swim teacher said. But it isn't safe to... Bo interrupted her. Slide! Jump! Splash! His teacher frowned. You will sit out for today's lesson, Bo. Bo pouted, crossed his arms, and sat by himself. Every Saturday after swimming lessons, Bo and his mom went to their favorite ice cream shop. He was allowed to order only one scoop, and Bo gobbled it up, lickety split. But today, Mom said, we're not going for ice cream. Bo's jaw dropped. What? Why are we going to the ice cream shop? Because, Mom explained, your swim teacher told me you didn't obey the safety rules. Bo pouted, crossed his arms, and stared out the car window. The next day, Bo and his little sister Sage were getting ready to go to the park with their abuelita, their grandmother. Come on, abuelita. Bo ordered, you're too slow. Do we have everything? Abuelita asked, looking around. Yes, Bo shouted. Let's go. Every time Bo went to the park, he loved to drive his yellow truck through the trees, under the swings, and around the playground. Hurry up, Abuelita, Bo yelled. I want to ride my yellow truck. But when they got to the playground, Abuelita exclaimed, oh dear, you forgot to pack your truck. Bo's jaw dropped. What? How will I play without my yellow truck? You can play on the swings with Sage, Abuelita suggested. Bo pouted, crossed his arms, and stomped over to the swing set. A few days later, Bo and Sage and their abuelita were getting ready to go to the park. Hurry up, Bo, called abuelita. Wait one minute, Bo answered. I want to make sure I've got everything. Abuelita's jaw dropped. Soon it was Saturday and time for Bo's swimming lesson. Bo walked single file to the pool and sat on the edge next to the other kids, his hands folded in his lap. The teacher's jaw dropped. For the rest of the lesson, Bo listened, swam, and did everything he was told. Good job, Bo. Awesome dive, Bo. Keep up the good work, Bo. On the way home, Bo asked, Can we go to the ice cream shop this week? Of course, Mom answered. Your teacher said you obeyed all the rules today and did very well. Bo smiled. And my new goggles were great, he added. I'll call Jaden and Ruby and tell them. At the ice cream shop, Bo's mom said, remember, you can use your gift card to get as big a cone as you want. Bo's mouth watered. He wanted some ice cream now. But 
Bo looked at all the flavors and took time to make up his mind. Hi there, the cashier said. What can I get for you? I'll get one scoop of mint chocolate chip, Bo replied. Only one scoop, his mom asked. Bo nodded. My card will last longer, one scoop at a time. The cashier looked at the tubs. Hmm, he said, we're all out here, but I think we have some in the freezer downstairs. Can you wait a couple of minutes? Of course I can wait, answered Bo. His mom's jaw dropped. In the car, Bo licked his ice cream slowly, making it last all the way home. Bo smiled at his mom. You know what? Sometimes it's more fun to follow the rules and wait. The end. So, it is good to be patient and wait. And don't rush your grandmother, okay? <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and stay healthy. Bye now.